airport about to do my crew cross country is our first leg today to the Concord Airport in North Carolina and I just wanted to answer some frequently asked questions I get about ATP and about how this whole training process works so the first question is scheduling do you have days off how does the schedule work can you work part-time and do other things while training so basically they advertise Monday through Friday you're gonna train Monday through Friday, five days a week. They can work with your schedule. You might have some Saturdays, you might have a couple weekdays off. It could be a little bit more flexible than that, depending on your availability as well as your instructor's availability. But as far as flight ops and ATP goes, they guarantee um, your day off 72 hours in advance. So I mean, I've never had any problems taking days off if I need some time, something important with my family or uh, something I've got going on. A day off here and there is not going to be a problem. You can take a Wednesday off, make it up by doing a Saturday, or if you're ahead on your training, you might have a couple days where you've got some low time just to hang out. Uh, last week, for instance, I did my uh, crew evaluation. We flew to Jacksonville, and I had the rest of the week off because they couldn't schedule me with another student to do this crew process. So we're starting the crew process today, and I'm going to be doing those flights starting this week through the end of the week. So you can have days off, um, hours per day. It's gonna be about two to four hours per day of training, whether that be a flight, a sim, or mixed in with some ground. And then uh, it's really up to you as far as how you wanna study, where you want to study. You can study at the training center or you can study at home, wherever you really like. So you could spend eight hour days here studying, doing your thing, or you could spend a two hour day here and just fly, go home, and then do your studying there. So it's really up to you. Uh, I personally like to do my studying uh, off-site. Lawrenceville is kind of far from where my house is, it's about a 45 minute drive. So I like to kind of study locally or depending on what's going on with my day, be more closer to home so I can do other things and uh, handle my errands or my other responsibilities. So can you work part-time? Can you do other things while training? You can do that, but I really don't recommend doing that. You could work part-time, work a couple hours here. Maybe if you have an online business or something, you could squeeze that in, possibly work some nights. But really guys, this is a serious commitment. It's a lot of money, a lot of time, and it's a very professional, very demanding course. You can't just go into this thinking, oh, like I'm just gonna fly here and there, get my ratings, it's gonna be easy. Cause it's fun, but it's challenging, and it's definitely, you have to put in the work you have to be really willing to do this stuff. You can't just, just half it and not give it your full 100%. So I really wouldn't recommend doing that. If you're gonna do it right, make this big investment, give it all your time, give it your 100% and focus on it. It's about six months of your life and it'll set you up for a full career as an airline pilot, corporate pilot, or whatever you may choose. So loans, I get a lot of questions about loans, how that works. ATP currently has relationships with Wells Fargo and Sally May, so you could get a loan through those two providers. Um, really, with loans, it just depends on how you want the terms to be, your deferment period, how long you want to wait to repay that loan back, uh, the time period, what you can afford as far as monthly payments, and what you project for your future. So um, there's different loan options from different banks. Um, you might be able to go through another bank that's not Wells Fargo or Sally May. And then um, personally for me, I did a private loan through a family friend. So I worked out some um, arrangements that worked well for me, but it's really just all up to you guys, your credit, who you're banking with, and um, it's more of a personal thing. So then the pace of training is another question I get. How fast is it? Is it too overwhelming? Am I, are you gonna fail your check rides? Are they gonna put you up for a check ride without being ready? And um, the pace is quick, it's quick. You have to study, you have to be on top of everything, but it's all laid out for you. All the videos, all the training requirements, there's a whole program outline they give you. So guys, you're always gonna be aware of where you are in the program, what you need to study, and if you give it your 100%, they're not gonna send you up for a check ride if you're not ready or you're just completely out of the ball game. Uh, they work with you and they're gonna punch you up for a check ride as soon as they think you're ready. So you might not be like 110% comfortable, you might, but I mean, it's it's up to you. I mean, you should be able to handle it. If you really give it your 100%, it's fast, it's challenging, but that's how the program's advertised and it's nothing that someone can't do. There's plenty of graduates, plenty of people who have been through this 
And if you're willing to put in the hard work, you will get the return out of that. Input equals output. So it definitely is doable. And if you're a hard worker, you can make it happen. You can make anything happen. So reviews, forums, and other things is another question I get. There's a lot of bad reviews, a lot of negativity kind of surrounding ATP online, a lot of forums and things. People give these comments. And um, what I've realized from a lot of those is a lot of them are pretty old. A lot of those are from like 2012, 2011. There's not a whole lot of 2016 reviews and forums saying, oh, ATP is so bad, this and that. And you know, it was a little bit worrisome like getting that information and hearing that for me going into the program. But from everyone I've met, honestly, I'll tell you, everyone in ATP has been so helpful to me, so great. Uh, I've had nothing but good things to say about everyone, very professional. Uh, I've had some of their executives talk to me, uh, want to introduce themselves to me. Um, great people. I've had nothing bad so far happen. And um, I've really enjoyed the entire program. That's my honest opinion. I think it's a great company. They're exactly as advertised. There's no hidden quirks or weird things going on behind the scenes. It's exactly as advertised, and it could vary depending on your location, who your instructor is, but all the instructors I've worked with, all the people I've talked to are passionate about aviation. They do what they've got to do, and they do a good job at it. So I really like ATP, and um, the best way to figure that out for yourself is go in and talk to your training location. Go in, talk to the instructors, talk to some people and figure it out because only you can make that decision and have that opinion. So go fly with ATP, check it out and talk to as many people as possible. And you know, I'm here to give these reviews and answer these questions to help you make that decision too. So that's my honest opinion. I've liked everyone I've met and I think it's a great company. Then jobs, what can you do beyond ATP? What can you do with all this stuff you're paying for? So obviously it's airline transport professionals. They want you to go to the part 121 airline route. They've got a lot of tuition reimbursement programs, a lot of uh, partnerships with different airlines and different career paths to help you streamline that process and get to that airline job if that's your ultimate goal. But then again, airlines are not the only thing you can do. There's plenty of charter jobs, corporate aviation jobs, whether that be part 91 operations for businesses, or companies or part 135 charter jobs people chartering private aircraft private jets then you've got cargo uh, to build time you can flight instruct banner towing uh, different uh, contract jobs there's plenty of things out there so a lot of people are kind of unsure like oh are you gonna go to the airlines what are you gonna do are airlines the only option no there's so many other options and personally for me I kind of want to do the corporate jet thing I'm interested in some part 91, part 135 operations. I really wanna fly private jets. That's kind of my goal, my mentality right now. I'm not a completely opposed to the airlines, but I'm leaning towards the corporate side. And uh, that's for you guys to decide as well. But there's so many opportunities in aviation and so many things that you just wouldn't think of that exist out there. So it's a huge industry. And um, if you do this program and you complete it, graduate, you're gonna be set up for so many things that you wouldn't realize then I kind of talked about my path of uh, what I want to do. I want to flight instruct, get obviously my CFI, I, -I, MEI, all those ratings through ATP, complete the program, and then I would like to flight instruct with ATP. That's my ultimate goal right now. I want to instruct for them and build my time that way. I think instructing is an incredible way to build time as opposed to something else because you're not only know the information but you're giving the information and that just refreshes it in your brain you're constantly going over all the private pilot stuff instrument stuff commercial stuff so it's just reiterating that to yourself and it takes a lot more to teach material and to apply material than to just have it locked away in your brain and understand it and so i think instructing is the best way to build time especially as far as on your resume what different companies like to see and then with atp all the multi-engine training they do with the seminal uh, you can't beat that with any other flight school, and I think they do a great job. I love the way they streamline the training into flight instructing. I would love to be a part of that. So that's what I want to do, and then look for a corporate job is where my mind's at right now. Like I said, that could change, but that's my path and that's my vision. So what's the hardest thing about ATP? The hardest thing about ATP, I would say it could be the workload, it could be the workload for sure. Uh, there's some days where you really have to study, you really have to buckle down, 
but if you're passionate and you really want to do this aviation thing it shouldn't be that hard for you you buckle down you work hard and it feels absolutely incredible to get those ratings and know that hey I worked hard I studied so hard for this and I got it I achieved it and so that's the most rewarding thing in the world to know that you're achieving your dream doing what you want to do and that could be hard um, that kind of leads into what's the worst part about ATP and which also could be a hard thing and I'd have to say that is just kind of scheduling flexibility which isn't the worst thing in the world but obviously with aviation there's weather it could be raining there could be weather delays in the morning that cause you you know you have a scheduled two o'clock flight and then it pushes it back to like four o'clock just because the instructors are backed up with other students things like that happen but that's aviation that's the way it is maybe if you're out in the desert somewhere and it's sunny 350 days a year you don't have to worry about that but sometimes that can be annoying but that's just the way it goes you know you're gonna have days where it rains on you and you can't go weather's bad just that's the way it works so again with working part-time and having a very crammed schedule not the best idea because you're gonna have unexpected things happen and you really have to be flexible to adapt to flying and the whole training process then what's the best thing about ATP I'd say the best part about ATP is definitely just the speed of the program the quality of the training the aircraft uh, the fact that we get to fly Seminoles multi-engine aircraft as much as we do uh, it's a lot better than any other flight school out there than the maintenance top-notch maintenance all the aircraft are super well maintained as far as safety this is one of the safest safest programs you can get into some flight schools you know it's sketchy you might be flying some old 152 that they don't really keep up with maintenance it's kind of just whatever you know but these airplanes are professionally maintained by a huge organization every like they do a great job and uh, I really enjoy ATP and then um, who do I recommend this program for uh, I really recommend this for someone who's passionate about aviation who has this dream wants to accomplish all this in the shortest amount of time possible and who is willing to work you have to be a hard worker you have to be dedicated and you have to really want this to complete it you know there's some people that fail there's some people that don't complete this and they're just not cut out for doing the professional pilot thing but if you really want it you can make it happen and if you're a hard worker and you say you know I really want to fly really want to be a pilot and I'm gonna go after this and give it my all you can do it you can definitely do it no matter who you are if you're 30 you're looking for a career change hey you can do it you can do this just as well as me someone who's 19 looking to set themselves up at a young age and if you're young go after it as well you know anyone can do this whether you're looking for a career change or you're looking for the start of your career you're young you're hungry you want to complete everything as fast as possible and get in the right seat of that jet as quick as you can or you're 40 years old and you say I hate my job I don't want to work nine to five I want to fly jets at 45,000 feet you know you can do this program if you work hard enough it's just like anything it's so rewarding getting these ratings like accomplishing check ride after check ride written after written it's incredible it's a very rewarding experience anyone can put in the hard work if you soar to your full potential and this is what you want to achieve so guys I hope I answered as many questions as I can regarding ATP if you have anything else Leave it in the comments, email me, call me. I'll give you my information and I'll try and answer as much as I can for you to help you understand this program and help you make those decisions with your flight training. So guys, enjoy your week. It's Monday, the best day of the week. Have a great week, accomplish your goals and soar to your full potential. I'll see you guys in the next one.